All right, welcome back. Welcome back. We I, are. I always love that because okay, so when we record, right, the the capture device that we use is an Elgato. An Elgato system is constantly recording, and it's uh -huh. so you can like pull it back and record a good clip if you got a good clip for Call of Duty, right? So its original purpose was, but like so, it's constantly saving that video as video. Until you either tell it to stop or, like, go back and clip what you had. Um, so, what will happen every now and again is me and Derek will have to go do some shit. And it will just stay recording yeah. for, like, an hour ten or so. And I, like, look at the th I look at the storage because it shows the storage under it. And I'm just like, man, I only got 80 gigs of storage right now? Fucking hell. And then I, like, hit record and it's like, you have 95 gigs of storage. And I'm like, oh, yeah, all right. Yeah. yeah that makes sense. <laughs> I uh I eat a meal, Chris. You did indeed eat a meal. Mostly because I don't we don't ever do it, so might as well. Yeah, it's true. <clears throat> we also we also kind of need to get rid of that pizza too, so it ends up being beneficial in both two ways. <laughs> I think it was getting old. <laughs> well, the pizza we just consumed. Yeah, the pizza actual... we just consumed was get getting it. up there in age. What do you think so, I mean, it's, you know, it's freezer food, so it's good for, like, several years, but... Yeah, <laughs> I mean, freezer burn is a thing. I've seen it happen. Yeah, but if you have something in a box, like, it's a lot less, it's a lot less likely to freezer burn. But it has happened to frozen pizzas I've had in the freezer for not actually as long as they... they really? Like then again, the freezer in our basement, have you seen that freezer? Um, yes. Yeah. It's, it's a big freezer. It is. And it's like a, you can store an entire thing of deer in here. It's <laughs> weird. Is it busted? I'm gonna be busting. I mean, wait, what were we talking about? <laughs> Who's that on the display? That's not the display. He's really here. Huh? Alright, Goofy doesn't have him. Wait, really? He takes off the glasses? Holy shit. No, the black cloak? That's not who you think it is. What? It's the bad guy from their world. The one they murdered at the end of their movie. No. <laughs> you know this guy? And now, enter the super villain. He definitely has the vibe. It's actually oh, me, it's, uh, Roxas. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, kid, it's oh, kid, kid Nort? Or is it Riku? Oh, yeah. Riku. Ansem the Riku. Riku. But... That's not really Riku, Dumpo. As if this stupid experiment wasn't already a hassle. Huh? Oh? Where did you get that? Hero, do you recognize it? Yeah. Not quite ready. Oh, he's gonna turn Baymax against him. I made for Baymax. It's full of combat programs. Huh? Programs? Yeah, they tell Baymax how to react. Does that they tell Baymax how to murder. His heart? More than. Eat this, my precious cubes. <laughs> it's not really Riku, fucker. It's Ansem the Riku. Yeah, it's Anton the Riku. And now it's gonna be Riku. The and it's gonna turn into Baymax? Da, 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 da. Oh, I got a scary face for a second. You see that? Just for one, two, one quick second. Oh no! Our excuse for having Baymax be the only person fighting. Yeah. I got it. I don't think he does. Yeah, because it never showed us how to do that. Yeah. <laughs> Go on, Derek, hit the core. Here we go. Just like that. Just like that. Man, they slashed the shit out of him. Sure, I'll just do it again. <laughs> eh, close it off. <laughs> Dude, you missed every shot. Yep. So he went into an invincibility state. You should be... Uh, less concerned about his invincibility state and more concerned with not dying. Yeah, you're right. I should be. Oh god, he has an orbital death laser. <laughs> it's a... You know, you're not allowed to put death lasers in space. Yeah. So we just put giant metal rods instead. What? Are you talking about? That's not how we do things. 
America would never do something like that. America encourages themselves to do more things like that. <laughs> I had a friend of me, a friend of mine, who was uh, discussing like the ethics of like a certain uh, style of program. I won't get too in depth on it, but uh, and uh, I was just like, "Hey, man!" And he was like asking the the group chat for like like what they thought about it, and everyone gave the same kind of like, "Yeah, no, it's pretty bad. Like, probably shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. um, probably shouldn't take this job or whatever." And uh, Except for me, obviously, who responded with, Hey man, if I've learned anything from the U.S., it's that all levels of <laughs> all levels of bad behavior can be justifiable within the right situation. <laughs> <sighs> I want to disagree with you, <laughs> but you're too accurate. It's like all, I'm like, if I've learned anything from the U.S., it's that all war crimes can be justifiable and just in the right situation. Yeah, it's too true, though, because we committed war crimes in World War II, but we're the victors, so. In fairness, we committed war crimes in World War II to the least extent out of all the people true. committing war crimes true. in World War II. <laughs> Like if we want to talk the two the the kings of committing war crimes of World War Two, uh, fucking Japan, and Germany, Germany and Russia oh, were man. going pretty hard. Right, but you're low. Well. <laughs> they were going so hard that any war crimes we committed were pretty much guaranteed to be ignored. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, and then Japan raped Man King way too hard. They should probably just ignore it. <laughs> Uh, you've watched uh, History of the World. Yeah, the entire right? History of the World. Yeah, that's what it's from. I, I love that. that. <laughs> so I love that one. They yeah, rigged Mankin way too hard. They should probably just ignore it. Oh, this isn't for you. <laughs> this is for my butt. Not until we're done. <laughs> okay, are we fighting Riku now? Riku. Uh, Ansem the Riku? Is it you? Why do you look like that? Oh my god, it's not him, Sora. You're so dumb. The heart? You know that it's me. I know Derek, I think you're wrong. I think it is him. I think it's Ansem the Riku. <laughs> a reason? When did that ever matter? Is this his clone that walked that lonely road in the yes. fucking last game and now he's just what? back? <laughs> yes. <laughs> of course. I thought he just decided to be like chill with Riku and leave it be, but no. Oh, he won't, no, he is. This is just a different Riku. Oh, okay. Smarter than you look. We defeated Ansem and Xehanort, every last one of them, but still they all came back anyway, right? So maybe this Riku came back too from the time when Ansem possessed him. From the past. No, it's an even different, different one from the one that I thought it might have possibly been. Unlike Great. Unlike a certain wizard you know, I had to play by the rules to travel through time, which meant leaving my body behind. He's talking about Anne Sid. Yeah. I know about this. Yeah, he is. Weird. But you have a body. <laughs> Xehanort's heart left his body in order to voyage back through time. He needed to tell his younger self of the great plans he had in store. Sure, why not? Sure. None of this makes sense anyway, yeah, so why not? Whatever, cool. And waited out the years until you and I came along. Xehanort's heart possessed me and became Ansem, the first adversary you faced. The sure, Ansem the stand user. He left behind. Took the name Xemnas and created the first organization. Okay. All right. It was all a part of a larger plan to bring Xehanort into contact with the right hearts. Enough of them to form the real organization 13. I hate that that's the name. I'm sure. Anywhere, any when. Just that's as cheating. As he had the right vessels at hand to place their hearts in. And the hearts were his own hearts. Except he changed his mind halfway through and got new hearts. So, like... You're right. <laughs> clearly his plan was not so solid. I don't know about that, dude. Pack up and leave. What are you still doing here? To see if we can recreate a heart from data. What? Sorry. 
<laughs> Did we steal your idea? That walking balloon over there has a heart. You can't prove that. <laughs> that's the nonsense I'm supposed to believe. There are hearts all around us. You only have to in my keyblade in that rock. <laughs> There's hearts all around us. I'm pretty sure I have like four inside me now. I don't even. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Actually. <laughs> oh well, I'm sorry about that, but I promise I'll put it right back where I found it. What do you mean? I was gonna make Baymax. Yeah, he's gonna, gonna put it back in Baymax. Back to work now. Wait. Whoosh. <laughs> We're so similar. Anyways. <laughs> You're the shittiest hero team ever, by the way. I recommend rest. Yeah. Meanwhile, Sora's still flying around doing all the work, and his team are just like, I'm winded. Can we take nap time? Yep. They're not the greatest. <laughs> the X-Men would be very displeased with this fucking team. <laughs> yeah, X the X-Men are much better than that, let's be honest. Wolverine would be fucking furious right now. <laughs> He'd be decapitating half of them. He'd be talking mad shit and then telling Cyclops to stop being a pussy. <laughs> We didn't win, though. But you did not. Not now. Huh? His name is Riku? But it's not really Riku. Do you know him? I yeah. do not. Well, I know a him. <laughs> you know what makes as much sense as anything else so far? Team, our arch nemonies. Nice. But how do you give heroes chip? You open a bag. An experiment. And what do they want? He said they're trying to recreate a heart from data. Didn't Sora already do that though? I don't know. No, they're working really on it. Want. All right. None of us I think. Uh, but data Sora. Guys, they show up, and instead of fighting fair and square, can we just hold the camera to the left? And right, well, to try I tried. <laughs> yeah, that was where we all wanted to. Look That's where we all wanted to be. The two girls and hero. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a few people on the internet. Might finally be able to give me some answers. You said that you made it, right? Yeah. This Baymax, he's actually the second model. Oh yeah. The first model was eradicated. I am a robot. I cannot be offended. I love you, Baymax. Baymax is like, I'm immediately offended. Baymax and the chip I made vanished into another dimension, along with the microbots. Oh yeah! Did that actually happen? Yes. Oh god. I've never seen. He was trying to open a portal to another reality so he could save his. There we go. His brother. There we go. I'll just I'll just leave it right there for you, Chris. All right. Perfect. Um, yeah, his the bad guy was making a portal or something and. I forget exactly, but yeah, Baymax and the ch Baymax zoomed the bad guy into the other dimension. Dude, dude this is how you know Disney movies are good. What the person who watched it and is explaining it to you is like, yeah, they did a thing with like whatever it was. It was, oh, it was, it was a, a while. The movie kind of sucked. I wasn't paying that much attention. It's been a while. <laughs> I was distracted by other things. It's the, like looking at Coco's ass. Like looking at Coco's fucking ass, baby. Oh, it's these guys. In fairness, Gogo -Go has nothing really going for her except as a complete package, right? Yep. She doesn't have much of an ass. She has very tiny tits. She's like a package deal. Mm -hmm. She's just the goth tomboy. Look, it's a package deal, alright? There's no specific thing that's likable. Overstep and darkness will consume you again. What an interesting thing to say. Why are his clothes held together with fucking bolts? Because he's Pete. <laughs> like, wait a he's minute. He's super metal, Chris. It's always been that way, actually. <laughs> I know. Like, how did I just realize this? Oh, yeah. These two are thinking they are the main villains. Now, I'm pretty sure we're still relevant to the story, right, Maleficent? <laughs> we're relevant to the story still, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, what a stupid bastard. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Let me... T <laughs> Let me spin you a manly yarn, Derek. Really? I was in Jellyfish Field, as my supply of bubbles was dangerously low. <laughs> <laughs> and Ooh, as I... I blew my last bubble. <laughs> yeah, continue. <laughs> uh, uh, there is no continue. They interrupt him at that point and call him out on his bullshit. <laughs> uh, what are we doing to jellyfish peels? Why, jellyfishing, of course. <laughs> what? We re there's gonna be one episode, man. It's gonna happen at some point where there's one episode where the whole episode is me just reciting an entire episode of SpongeBob word for word, just from beginning to end. It's it coming. Just like, that's it. It's coming. <laughs> coming quicker than you'd think. Uh, Every SpongeBob quote just gets slightly longer to the point where it ends up just being me or a full recap of the SpongeBob movie across oh three it's episodes. Coming. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> oh fuck! It is. It is honestly coming. <laughs> what if people watch this? I don't know. Fuck it. I don't think people do, Chris. <laughs> Speaking of which, if you are watching this, I would like, like comment, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Hell yeah! Did uh, you know that only ten percent of those who wa watch the video? are subscribed to the channel. Whoa, really? <laughs> yeah, the other 90% of you are just freeloading assholes. Hit the sub button. The fuck, dude? <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> Back with <man. laughs> Do you hate yourself yet? <laughs> I hate everything. It's me, society, people, the game we play. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! <coughs> oh dude, do you remember when? <laughs> you remember when everybody liked, commented, and subscribed? <laughs> Did you know that only ninety percent of our viewers <laughs> are not subscribed? <laughs> like the reverse thought from only ninety percent are not subscribed. <laughs> yeah, we can bring that number down to one fifty. We'll be in good shape. <coughs> We have seen some nice growth. A couple of subs. We have lots of nice growth. Hope it's learned some new like that growth? <laughs> yeah, like her. <laughs> like the growth she mixed. <laughs> Actually, no, the... the it's, Lemon has seen some nice growth. She just never stops getting taller. <laughs> we all know we're going to die. It's fine. You don't need to do the calculation. It's the sum of our hearts. Yeah. Which adds up to what? Three! <laughs> Show me. If you dare. Dude, he's gonna become part of the cube. <gasps> he murdered the cube. Oh, that was his weak point. Almost there. What? <laughs> what? This pile of junk collected the data we needed. The terror of being attacked without warning. The despair of having no place to run. The longing for vengeance. That's how I train that's how I train my child soldiers too. <laughs> so <laughs> you've ever heard of Dwarf Dwarf Fortress? Yes. Um so something you can do in Dwarf Fortress is you can like capture a wolf and chain it up. Right. And then put all the dwarf babies in the same room. Because the dwarf babies won't get close enough to the wolf for them to get attacked by the wolf. Yeah. But if you chain the wolf, it can't get close enough to the babies. Yeah. And then, using that tactic, you can tra train these super omega, like, super soldier dwarves to put in your military. <laughs> you could. I'm just like, Chris would appreciate that. I mean, it makes sense. Like, who's better to teach you how to be a murderous, indiscovable killer than a fucking wolf? wolf? <laughs> Dude, he's using darkness to create a... Uh, Derek, Another they boss? use darkness for everything. He could be using it to make fucking salad right now. Like... <laughs> You're right. <laughs> I want a dark salad. Dark salad made of robotic cubes. Dark vessel, Chris. Feed my sternum. Oh no, he made a spirit tech. Another dark cube form? 
Doesn't look as bad as the last one. <laughs> it could be a trick. Usually is. Okay, so I work. <laughs> it's, uh, it's the fact that it's the exact same voice. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Wait. Yeah. That's Baymax. What? No, that's not Betamax. Betamax is behind us. No, it's Betamax. No, it's Betamax. <laughs> I know. The Betamax. <laughs> oh no, he's in... Oh no. Evil shape. Oh no, it's XJ4. <laughs> Dude, they never made a fucking My Life as a Teenage Phoenix. Robot video game, and they really should have. Don't bother. They should have. Like, what a waste. Has lost his heart. He won't wake up. Except He's if we beat him up with our keyboard. Like my family. I mean, you didn't care that much about him. You sent him into the fucking void. Dude. No, Baymax actually sacrificed himself. Yeah, you didn't care that much about him. He let him sacrifice himself for him. Like, that's fucked up. No, he was gonna go on the void with Baymax, and Baymax was just like, No, I am your human health care provider. Yeah, that motherfucker has four slots. Dude, he's, <laughs> he's ready to be metal. He's about to be tagging. <laughs> I am evil! But there's one piece missing. A piece? Yeah, a dark... You're the one who's going to complete <laughs> this heart. Oh, yes. <laughs> I've seen the Roll 34. I know the attachment. I've seen it. Without, <laughs> without loss. You see, you're going to destroy Hero's friend right in front of him. Wait! Dum, dum, dum. No, I Betamax. mean, obviously the choice here is to have Betamax fight Betamax. And then the best Betamax gets to be the one who lives. Yes. Hero? Hero? Wakasaki? Oh, he's got, he's got evil wings. And an evil claw. The claw is made of nano machines. <laughs> nano machines. Bmax means everything to me. But that chip isn't who he is. I mean, considering the fact that he's whoever you put the chip in means that technically he's whatever the fuck he is. And I'm pretty sure he actually saved the chip in the movie, but I might be wrong. Sora, he has to be stopped. Okay, help Gogo and the others. You can leave this guy to us. Oh, Help them yeah. doing what? They're just gonna stand off in the background and cheer for us occasionally. I know how I know how Disney cutscenes work. Uh, Derek, it's called managing. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> I'm managing your fight with Baymax. Oh, oh yes. Sora, <laughs> take Baymax. I just sit there and I'm like, "You're doing great, Derek, Baymax. but if you could speed this up, time is money." I'm, uh, ready. <laughs> I'm ready, Sora. Oh yeah. Ready for this? We're gonna fly around and pew 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 at him. We're gonna fly around and pew pew him in his pew pew. You know, in Persona 3 there's a robot that has these same kind of like personality chips and you touch it to have sex with her. This is amazing. So, Riku's been having a lot of sex with Beta Betamax over here. This is amazing. <laughs> I love it. I meant like, I love that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, Not know, like this, this is dumb. No, <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm like, this is really easy. <laughs> boot, boot, boot. Derek, no, you're not shooting him with lasers. You destroy them with lasers. Bow, da, 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 da. <laughs> Dude, it feels like a real superhero game. <laughs> this is amazing. I love I this. I think it's great. Imagine, like, you know, on fairness, I would make more fun of this, but, like, this is better than most Superman games. You know what I mean? I so do. I can't really say too I much do, shit. Actually. This is actually better than the vast majority of Superman games. But I think we're running a little low on time, right? Yeah, we got a minute. I'll we just gotta, Baymax this. We got a minute and another episode, so we can go yeah, back we'll, to time. We'll be able to so, do this, yeah. You're good. It's, you good, you good. Hey, audience, have you ever heard of Inside Baseball? We have precisely a minute left to record. <laughs> but we don't worry, we have another episode in the session for today. <laughs> and if time <laughs> requires it, we could probably do another. <laughs> Inside Baseball? I have no other thing. Dude, there's like no way you can lose this. You have a heal. 
Baymax is a Baymax. He is indeed Baymax. I, yeah, I was gonna say, I'm like, this seems weirdly easy. Is this game not made for children? <laughs> uh, this game is rushed. <laughs> like, it's just weird to me, because this is so horrendously easy, and yet the pirate ship one felt like it was really kind of bullshit, you know yeah. what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, it's almost like, like this game was happening. rushed. Ah, yeah. oh, man, to think, you had ten years to develop a game and you still rushed it. <laughs> <laughs> you love that fact? <laughs> like, it's kind of ridiculous. Then again, fucking Skull and Bones had 10 years in development, and that game feels like shit. <laughs> I'm gonna keep talking shit about that game. And then it's gonna come out, and it's actually gonna be amazing, and not, not resembling of the, like, trailers they played. <laughs> well, now that we're in the uh, second right. phase of the fight. Yep, with that, we'll pick it up in the next part. We'll see you guys then. Peace.